We're getting close to March and those March primaries. Election Day will be here before we know it. Here to talk more about absentee voting from the Montgomery Election Center is Circuit Clerk Gina Ishman. Gina, people can still sign up to absentee vote. Who is eligible? What's the deadline? Because I know it's approaching. Yes. Yeah, so any voter that is eligible to vote here in Montgomery County can vote absentee. Um, absentee, you do have to have a reason that you have to notify me as the circuit clerk that you're not going to the polls. It could be that you expect to be out of town. You're working that day. Um, you have some type of physical disability that won't allow you to go to the polls or stand in line. Um, those are just a number of reasons. And so you're right, the election is here and March 5th. Look at your calendars now. If you know you're not gonna be able to go to the polls, absentee voting could be an option for you. It does require that the voter complete an application. Um, they can either mail that application, but I have to receive that application in the mail by tomorrow by five. So if you haven't already put that application in the mail to me, there's still an option to come do uh, absentee voting in person up until this Thursday, February 29th by five o'clock. So this is the deadline week that voters need to go ahead and make those decisions about how they're going to cast their vote for this big election. You mentioned a lot of reasons some people absentee vote out of town, working out of town, some sort of physical illness. Some people may have just had surgery. We're a big military community yeah. too. A lot of service members especially those who live overseas, vote absentee because, vote absentee. because they're moving all they're the moving time. The time. And that is one of those eligible reasons. Um, it, it, even uh, college students who are still registered to vote here they still in Montgomery have their County, Alabama license. Right, but they're off to school somewhere. They're still eligible to vote an absentee ballot. And so there's a lot of different reasons that voters can fall within the category to vote absentee. Um, so look, I just urge people, have a voting plan, look at your calendar now and make the determination. If you're going to the polls, that's great. Um, go ahead and make sure your polling location is the same. Um, you can go to alabamavotes.gov or myinfo.alabamavotes.gov and check your polling place to make sure you're showing up to the right polls um, for this election. Gina, for the people who've already put this application in the mail, when do they receive their ballot and then what do they do once they get it? So once we get applications in the mail that same day, we're mailing you your ballot and it's gonna be the same ballot you would get at your polling place. And it comes with everything that you, that voter needs to return that ballot to us. It comes with the instructions, comes with their ballot. And the main thing I wanna to stress to those voters who've already received their ballot and wanting to mail that back is to be sure that they complete the affidavit envelope. It requires the voter to have this filled out, signed, and it has to either be notarized or two witnesses. And so before you put that ballot back in the mail, your voted ballot back in the mail, please be sure that you're completing the affidavit envelope so that your vote can count. Now you mentioned earlier too about people who do plan to vote in person, make sure you know where your location is, make sure you have a plan in place for that day. You all rolled out a new service recently where people can actually text your office. Yeah, now that's directly through the um, through the election center. Uh, the director of elections is Alexandra Stevens, and it's a great program that they have. You can text different keywords like polling location to that number and it will give you that information. You can check uh, text waiting times and it's just a great way to give voters the resources so they can plan their trip um, to make sure that they cast their vote. But it's a great program and that, inform that, that number is there. Um, if you uh, wanting to be a poll worker, there we're always in need of great poll workers. You can text poll worker and it'll give you information about working the polls. A lot of people love to text. They don't like to yes. wait on the phone, wait for someone to respond. So that's a great resource yes. to Gina, remind people of those important deadlines as they get ready to map out their plan. Yes, so um, if you're coming to vote in person, the deadline is this Thursday, which is February 29th by five o'clock. Um, we're located at 251 South Lawrence Street, and that's the address of the Montgomery County Courthouse downtown. We're there on the first floor. You will need a, a valid ID, such as a, a driver's license to vote. Even if you're going to the polls, please be sure you have your ID. Um, if you come in person, please be prepared to fill out an application, and we'll give you, if you come in person, we'll give you your ballot right there in the absentee voting office. You can mark your ballot, 
turn it back in. Those absentee ballots are counted. Your absentee ballots do matter. And they will be uh, counted and voted on election day with all the other ballots that are out there. All right, Gina, thanks for all that important information. March will be here before we know it. So thanks yes. so much for joining us here in Alabama oh. Live. We appreciate oh, it. It's glad to be here.